Pathogens and Infection What is a pathogen? A pathogen is also known as a germ. A pathogen is a disease-causing organism. Most pathogens are microbes. Microbes are organisms that are too small to be seen with the naked eye. Most microbes are beneficial, such as those that live in our stomach and help digest food. Other microbes, however, can cause illness and disease. Disease-causing microbes are known as pathogens. There are two major types of pathogens that cause disease, viruses and bacteria. Viruses. Viruses are strands of genetic material in a protein coat. They cannot move on their own or reproduce on their own. Viruses hijack a host cell's reproductive system and can cause many diseases. Examples of viral diseases include the common cold, HIV slash AIDS, influenza, also known as the flu, measles, rabies, and rotavirus disease. Bacteria. Bacteria are simple, single-celled organisms with rigid cell walls. Bacteria come in many shapes, such as rods, spheres, and spiral. Many bacteria are beneficial and can help digest food, but some cause disease. Examples of bacterial diseases include food poisoning, MRSA, pink eye, strep throat, tuberculosis, and whooping cough. Infection. Infection happens when a pathogen has entered the body and has started reproducing. For a pathogen to cause infection and disease, it must first invade a host, like the human body, gain a foothold, or get established. Then it can grow and produce disease. Portals of Entry In order to cause disease, pathogens need to get into the body. There are three main ways, called portals of entry. Pathogens do this through the lungs by breathing by way of the respiratory route, through contact with mucous membranes such as eyes, nose, throat, and genitals, and through the skin by absorption or contact with openings in the skin like cuts or wounds. Infectious Diseases Infectious diseases happen when a disease-causing agent like a virus or bacterium gains access to a host like a human body and grows on or within it. Some infectious diseases may be communicable and can spread person to person. Some infectious diseases are non-communicable, which means they are not usually spread from person to person. Communicable diseases. Communicable diseases can spread directly person to person or from animal to human or from an inanimate object such as a doorknob or tabletop to an individual. When an infected person coughs or sneezes, germs spread through droplets in the air and can be breathed into the lungs. Diseases that are transmitted this way usually spread rapidly through the respiratory route and often cause severe illness. Sexually transmitted diseases spread through infected mucous membranes in the genitals, mouth, and anus. Immune system. The immune system is our body's defense against infectious organisms. All animals have defenses against common pathogens. The first lines of defense are the outer barriers of our body, such as the skin and mucous membranes. When pathogens breach those outer barriers, they trigger the immune system to fight the invaders. When the body recognizes that a foreign substance has invaded the body, different types of cells work together to identify and destroy it. Antigens are foreign substances that are often on the surface of a pathogen. B cells, sometimes called trigger B cells, recognize the antigen and produce antibodies. Antibodies are specialized proteins that lock onto specific antigens. Antibodies are the body's disease fighters. Even though antibodies recognize antigens and lock onto them, they cannot destroy antigens without help. 
That's the job of T cells. T cells destroy antigens that have been tagged by antibodies. Some T cells are called killer cells. In other words, the antibodies tell the T cells which cells need to be destroyed. Why do some people become infected and others do not? The reason why some people become infected and others do not depends on many different things, such as the strength and number of the pathogen, the strength and maturity of an individual's immune system, and other factors such as nutritional status, stress, environment, and pre-existing conditions like heart disease, cancer, or asthma. Summary. Infection means germs, also known as pathogens, are reproducing inside the body. There are many different ways pathogens can enter the body. Communicable diseases are infections that can spread from person to person. The immune system defends the body against diseases.